is hot. Houston, we have a problem. It is 8.02 in the morning. I typically like to be at work by 8, but it's Monday, so you know. the huge we're gonna go to um why go to pump nutrition like almost all the time and someone's so, someone's walking today we're not taking the car we're walking so it's your <laughs> you're so cute <laughs> The great music, the great music. I just ate the protein bar, so yeah, I'm gonna take the chicken out. That's so cute. One tablespoon, half, yeah, one tablespoon. This raspberry vinaigrette. I'm trying to see where to put you guys. Okay, so real quick. Yeah, no, not there. First time I dropped this. Care about that. Poor baby. So. It is at 50 and I was going to edit my video inside of work, but for some reason my Bluetooth, uh, I mean my headphones aren't connecting to the Bluetooth, so I just decided to cut my car, have the AC on. As you guys saw, I just ate my protein bar, so this was supposed to be a full meal, but I took out the chicken since I got my protein from the protein bar. So I just kind of have a brain mix with croutons, ham, and then um, these yellow sweet peppers because I like to bite into them so I'm gonna snack on that as I try to edit hopefully I can fix what I want to fix before I upload it and today I want to do it today and then to kind of um, I've been having cravings so just kind of to control them I am having a sugar-free jello which is basically like zero macros it still has a few but um, I'll check. I think it's like three or two cards and that's it. So that's that and um, yeah, I'm just gonna hope it goes well. I love, love, love raspberry vinaigrette. I will never like, like another dressing more than this. I like sweet stuff so I should probably chop this before but I don't know. Mm -hmm. The things you gotta do when you get things done. Okay.
I mean, yeah, but no. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Feels good to talk again. I had to be super quiet at work because, you know, office job. And I didn't want to get caught on the camera. For now, I'm just going home. Try to finish editing. It's hard for someone who has never used iMovie or anything. So I guess I just have to make some final touches and hopefully I can get it done before my mom's birthday dinner. She gets out of work at 6.30. And also I'm gonna show you guys what I get. I post a lot on my Instagram how I order when I do go out to eat for a special occasion when I'm on prep. Other than that, if I would have had you know a cheat meal with my mom, but for obvious reasons, I have to watch what I eat and track, and I do take my skill everywhere. So I will be showing you that later. And for now, I'll get home uh, driving safe without recording. But that is the vlogging life, and I'm getting used to it. It's a little weird, but I'm getting more comfortable. So one thing I wanted you guys to know, first I have to stop saying so, I wanted you guys to know that I do work 60 hours a week right now. And usually I would come home and just kind of like watch YouTube videos or relax or something, but now that I actually got home a few, a couple hours I would say before the usual time, because it's my mom's birthday, I'm gonna have to edit. I don't have time to just, you know, lay on the bed a bit. So, um, you know, it took me a while. I haven't wanted to start a channel for like months. And at first I was like, well, I don't have the time for it. And then I just, one day was like, okay, I can either make a move or keep making excuses and let someone else be successful. If I'm able to do something, then I, I should do it. I should have no excuse to not do it. Um, for example, I work. I work a lot. And I would just... It was a routine. And I hate routine, but it was a routine. Wake up, go to work, work out, come home. Work out, go to work, work out, come home. Every single day. I got tired of it. And you have to get tired of it. It's okay to get tired of it. Because that means that you're noticing that you're stuck in the same place. And you should be doing something else. So now that I'm doing this, I feel so much better. I feel like I'm doing something more than just the usual like i'm doing something to help others something to grow as an, an individual and sometimes that's what you have to do you know it's crazy so you have to come to a point in your life where you're just gonna do what you really love because that's the only way you enjoy life with everything you have going on i just wanted to say real quick before i do grab some cereal because i'm starving and dinner's not till like an hour and a half so i'm gonna get my a serving of cereal any cereal I feel like eating, I don't even know which one. And then, yeah, just try to edit as much as I can. If what I, I wish I had this window in my room so that I could set my bat in front of it. But I don't. That's okay. So I just bought some cereal yesterday. Where is it? Am I missing my cereal? Zoom. It is Superman. Just saying. This is a caramel crunch. So we'll see what it tastes like. Macros are for 30 grams, which is one serving. It would be 3 grams of fat, 23 grams of carbs, and 2 protein. By the way, silk, cashew, unsweetened vanilla milk. The best macros of life. The best. You ain't ready. You gotta sit down for this. For one cup, which is one serving, two grams of fat, one gram of carb, and less than one gram of protein. That's it. You burn these while you walk. Put this and these in here. Yes, please. Shout out if you Mexican with these bowls. Okay. 30 grams. Exactly 30 grams. Oh my goodness, this smells yummy. It smells like donuts. Oh, and by the way, I don't track my milk just because it's very low 
And that's for me, and that's for one cup. I don't even use a cup when I, uh, I eat cereal, so I really don't care for it, which is why I drink it. I probably use like, I don't know, half a cup, which is will be like one fat and like half a carb. No point of tracking. We have the taste because it did smell like donuts. This is probably my favorite cereal now, and I hope they always have it because it's like a Superman limited edition. Oh my god. This reminds me of the Captain Crunch donut cereal. Anybody else is like, oh, the littlest son, and you like have to pull on my shades because I have to. It's a month, especially when they're blue. Anybody else feel weird walking into their parents because they used to live here? My child! Uh, he lives with my mom because I'm a bad mother. <laughs> Bobby! You wanna play? The jealous one. He's older, we've had him for a while. Salty sweat. Can't even open the door. That just happened. I can still taste it. It's disgusting. Like I just want to shower, but I still have cardio. So we're just gonna keep eating a salty bacon, salty salted caramel, mm -hmm. and then it feels pretty good outside actually. But freaking sweating. So bad. Who am I? I hardly sweat. So when I do, I'm like, long. But it was good. I like it when I sweat this much because I don't always sweat this much. So, glazed donut. Glazed donut. Like, am I, am I on stage right now? I mean, this glazed. My hair jacked up. Nine thirty-five. Do you even phone? Do you even life? Nine thirty-five. Still have cardio. That's okay. No, it's not. I just came to kind of wipe my face and then go back to the gym, finish cardio. Because 
that is always the last thing for me to go just because I am um, I hold all my body fat there like if you ever see me even when I'm like leaning down bulking that is my last part to go away because genetics so I don't know some people hold body fat on their butt legs arms I'm pretty thin everywhere else except my stomach so it's always the last thing to go to go to go so I'm not really worried about it because I was stressing over it last competition but I looked fine so trying to follow fans when you work out looking like a glazed donut 